Here at 5 o'clock with that breaking news, East Bridgewater police releasing this piece of video as they try to find the woman who hit a 13-year-old girl on her bicycle and then took off. Now, fortunately, that girl was not seriously hurt. Thank you for joining us. I'm David Wade. And I'm Paula Eben. Lisa's on assignment. Now, the little girl was hit Sunday night behind an elementary school. We want to go to WBZ's Louisa Moeller, who's live in East Bridgewater. And Louisa, the driver actually spoke to the girl before driving away. Paul David, that driver said something quite odd, but first let me show you what where this happened behind me. You see this wooded area next to that neon walking sign. There's actually a small path. Kids like to bike through there and go into the parking lot of the elementary school. That's where this girl was biking. She emerged in the parking lot. The driver was going up the hill, hit the girl. Now I do want to warn you, the police released some surveillance video and it may be difficult for some to watch, but that little girl, thankfully, is okay. You can see a blue SUV, possibly a Lexus, weaving through the parking lot of Central Elementary School in East Bridgewater Sunday, trying to find a way out the back lot. Then the car turns around at a closed gate and goes back the way it came, before smashing into a young girl who had just biked out of the woods. Police say the girl was pushed roughly 60 feet. And like she was pushing her, her her like her whole body against the bike so she wouldn't like so the bike so the car wouldn't go on top of her. 12-year-old Holly Mae Silva watched it all happen in front of her. And when the car finally came to a stop, she says a woman in blue scrubs got out and said something strange. I asked if she was a nurse because she had scrubs on, and then she said that she was. And then she asked if she was okay, and then the, and then my friend said yeah. And then the girl said the lady said go home and go shower, and then got in her car and left. Then Holly says the woman drove away. Thankfully, her friend escaped with minor injuries. She has bruises on her legs. She showed me on the phone last night. She has cuts on her elbows. Her, my, like the whole hoodie she was wearing is all ripped up. So did Holly's bike, which her friend was riding at the time. So like this whole part is bent, and this whole part's like fine, I guess. And then like this part all got scraped up. Police are now investigating, and Holly's mom says her message to the driver is very simple. For the girl who was hit, please come forward. The police do not believe that the driver was traveling fast, and anyone with information is asked to contact police. Live in East Bridgewater, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. All right, Louisa, thank you. We have some breaking.